fourth Sunday after Pentecost. Welcome to a time set aside to speak to and listen to God. Welcome to a safe place to ponder today's worship theme. How long, O oh God? God, help us be together as we wait separately. Amen. Would you lead us in the call to worship? Sure. Come be present with God, all who hunger for life. For it is God who nourishes us at the table of grace. Come be present with God, all who are worn out by life. For it is God who provides the rest we need. Come be present with God, all who are weighed down with darkness. For it is God whom we can cry out to without shame. Amen. Amen. A lesson from the Psalms, Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear the pain in my inner being and have trouble at my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Look on me and answer me, O Lord my God. Bring light to my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy should say, I have prevailed over them and rejoice because I have been shaken. But I have trusted in your faithful and inexhaustible love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because the Lord God hath dealt bount bountifully with me. The word inspired by God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. One of the things I love about the Bible is that every time I read a passage, I can find a new thing to focus on because my heart and mind are in a different place that day. And if that isn't enough, our Bible is a beautiful library filled with different kinds of books, with poetry books and story books and books of history and books of family relationships, books of instruction and books for fun. It's a beautiful library. Today's lesson comes to us from the Psalms, Psalm 13. And one of the things about the Psalms is that they cover the gamut of all of the emotions. 
There are love songs in the Psalms. And there are directions to God to do a better job in the Psalms. And there are angry passages in the Psalms because God has not lived up to God's end of the bargain to care for God's people. And there is deep sadness sometimes because People have deep sadness sometimes. And we ask God, how long? How long will I suffer? How long will my loved one suffer? How long will our world suffer? How long? How long, oh God? It's good to be able to read the Psalms and recognize we weren't the per first person to feel that way. This morning, I got a message from a caregiver for a parishioner that I was very fond of in my previous church in Florence. One of the lovely matriarchs of the church and the message was short. It said, Eleanor would love to hear from you. Let me call you and say when she's awake. And sure enough, it means Eleanor's on hospice and her time will be short. But it was good to be able to say goodbye and to say how much I love her. And then, of course, it made me think about my mom and the fact that I'll probably not see her again. I won't be able to tell her I love her because she can't use the phone anymore. And today's been filled with worries about where will people sleep and is there enough food? And there's never enough food or housing in our city, in our state, in our country. Some of us are comfortable and many suffer. And then if that's not enough to worry about, there's plenty of opportunity to lament for the systemic racism that is in our church and in our community and in our country and in our world. It's good that the Bible offers us ways to spill these feelings out. God promises to walk the journey with us. There is not necessarily a promise that it will be all good or all easy. Jesus walked with the people and healed them and gave them hope. And so we call the gospels the good news, but some days, we need the Psalms so we can lament. Amen.
Let us receive this benediction blessing. Let us go forth to walk in God's light. We will show others the way to God's heart. Let us go to bring hope and healing to the world. With a gift as simple as a cup of water and as complex as our lives, we will join Jesus in serving those around us. Let us go forth to gather up the brokenhearted of our communities into our homes and lives. With the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are no longer strangers, but God's family. Amen. Amen.